Hello, welcome and thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. My name is Aidan and I am the Chair of the Programme in Physics with Data Science at TU Dublin. As you may know, TU Dublin is Ireland's first technological university, formed in 2019. It unifies the former DIT with IT Blanchardstown and IT Talla. This particular course is delivered at the city campus and before we talk about the course, I'll tell you a little about the move of all of DIT's old campuses to our new campus at Grange Gorman in Dublin. So the move of the former DIT to Grange Gorman will unify almost all of the old DIT campuses, including Colbrewer Street, Ainger Street and Kevin Street, on a single campus. And this will be developed out over the coming years. The Kevin Street building, which houses much of the College of Science, is moving to the central quad, which is shown here in the central image. We expect to be resident there from spring 2021. In terms of the location of TU Dublin's new Grange Gorman campus, we are located right in the heart of Dublin city on its north side. We are very close to Henry Street, O'Connell Street and Trinity College Dublin. In terms of transport links, we are very close to Houston Station, which means that we are accessible from the south of the city towards Limerick and Cork. Importantly, we are also close to the Lewis Red Line, meaning we are very accessible from Connolly Station and the Lewis Green Line passes by the campus on our east side, connecting us to the southeast of the city and to Maynooth and the Navan Road Parkway via the Broombridge Station. Modern physics is a very broad discipline, which is not just confined to traditional fields such as quantum physics, astrophysics and space science, where new quantum computers, telescopes and technologies are providing advances which will enhance our futures. It is also applied to seeing cancer better and earlier and to design more effective treatments, to the modelling of biological and chemical systems as well as the environment and many other data sources. All of these disciplines generate huge, huge amounts of data and it is this issue which data science is grappling with. Data science has been developed to handle the very large data streams that are generated by our everyday lives. It's a very new discipline and there is some disagreement on its definition though the one which Wikipedia provides emphasises that it is a multidisciplinary field which harnesses the power of statistics and machine learning to analyse patterns in large data sets and obtain coherent messages from them. It therefore requires skills in computing and statistics, but also in areas such as data visualisation and communication, all of which are taught in this course. In our specific case, we are interested in physics problems, so we need to develop the de discipline-specific skills in physics and use data science to analyse large physical data sets, to create information from that data, and ultimately then understand the process that gave rise to the data through some modelling. Examples include analysing the light curves of extrasolar planets, gravitational waves from black hole collisions, and other data sources. And the same set of principles we teach our students would be applicable to a wide range of other sciences, including biology and chemistry. Ultimately, we are developing skills which science and industry require, although they may be applying those skills to areas other than physics. An example of how data science is applied to physics experiments is the Event Horizon Telescope, where eight individual radio telescopes around the world were combined to create an Earth-sized telescope capable of imaging the event horizon of the black hole at the centre of M87. M87 is a galaxy in the constellation Virgo, and the team of scientists conducted an observation run on M87 with their combined telescopes over a period of four days, generating data that was stored on over 1,000 hard drives, which were shipped by air to Haystrack Observatory in MIT and Bonn in Germany. Here the data was processed and a single algorithm or mathematical equation was applied to the data using 600 computer processors containing a total of 6 petabytes of RAM to generate this image of the event horizon of the black hole. For comparison, 6 petabytes of data corresponds to all of the data contained in approximately 100,000 smartphones. We are lucky in Ireland to have seven of the top data science multinationals and there is acute demand for talent in this space. 
Last year, the workforce in data science in Ireland was predicted to reach 60,000 and is still growing fast, with graduates in physics particularly in demand for their problem-solving skills. Our course seeks to address this gap and does so by giving students discipline-specific skills in physics together with those in mathematics, statistics and computing. Years 1 and 2 of the course give students an in-depth preparation in these areas, which are then further expanded in year 3 before the students enter a 7-month industrial placement programme where they spend time working in a relevant industry. A feature of our courses, which we often find, leads to employment upon graduation. Then in year four, we provide further training in physics, computing and data science before students undertake a research project of relevance to their programme. In terms of employment prospects for students of this course, they are excellent. Where starting salaries for physicists have been shown by the Institute of Physics to be in excess of €38,000. Additionally, physics-based industries contribute hugely to the Irish economy through employing in excess of 160,000 people or almost a tenth of the Irish workforce and contributing €37 billion to the exports from the country. Overall, this course provides an excellent springboard for your career, giving options in both traditional physics and in the newer data science industries. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and hope to welcome you to our new campus soon. Until then, stay safe and well.